Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel Think Smart and this is Mastanda Naidu. Today we are going to discuss class 9 physical science chapter matter around us and this is session 1. The objectives of this session are listed here. First to understand what is matter, next to know the states of matter, then to understand the properties of solids, liquids and gases through the activities and to know the compressibility of solids, liquids and gases. First we shall know what is matter. We know about metals and non-metals, natural fibers and synthetic fibers, acids and bases. All these are examples of matter. All the things around us which exist in a variety of shapes, sizes and textures are also examples of matter. The air, the water, the food and the cloths, even our body etc. are examples of matter. Matter Anything that occupies space and has mass is considered as matter. So whatever is in our surroundings is matter. And sometimes we say we are alone but we are surrounded by the matter. Now states of matter. Water is such a substance which can exist as a solid, a liquid or a gas. On the other hand, carbon dioxide is also in three different states, solid, liquid and gas. States of matter. Therefore, we have three states of matter, solids, liquids and gases. Examples of matter. Solids. Pen, book, bench, wall, liquids, water, milk, juice, petrol, gases. Hydrogen, Helium, Nitrogen, Oxygen Here you can see some more examples of matter of different states. Some solids, Ice, Brick, Wood, Iron. Some liquids, Petrol, Vinegar, Paint, Water. Some gases, Helium, Oxygen, Carbon Dioxide, Hydrogen. And we have already discussed that water exists naturally in all the three states. Now we shall discuss properties of matter solids. Solids have a definite shape and a fixed value. Examples pen, book, bench, wall and etc. There is a note for volume. An amount of space that a substance or object occupies or that is enclosed within a container. Verification. Take a pen and throw it on the floor. It doesn't flow but remains rigid. And it has distinct boundaries. Therefore, it has a definite shape and it has a fixed value. Now, properties of matter liquids. Liquids have no definite shape but a fixed value. Examples water, milk, juice, petrol and etc. Verification. Take some water and spill it on the floor. It flows, not remains rigid. And check the volume of 50 ml water and milk in one container. You would get same volume. Therefore, it has no definite shape but it has a fixed volume. Now, activity 1. Identifying the shape and volumes of liquids. Part 1 to identify the shape. Material required containers 3 or 4 and water. The stepwise procedure. Step 1. Take some amount of water in one of the containers. Examine the shape of water in it. Step 2. Pour the same water in another container. Examine the shape of water again. Step 3. Repeat the process till you complete pouring of water in all containers. Examine the shape of water in all the containers. The following observations can be made during the activity. You will come to know that each time in every container water changes its shape. Water gets the shape of the container each time. Thus we can say that the shape of water or in broad sense any liquid is not definite. You can see different water bottles in the picture 
and water gets those bottle shapes each time. Thus, we say liquids have no definite shape. Here you have a colorful picture with different colored liquids in different containers. Clearly, the shapes are different. Another one for you to confirm no definite shapes for liquids. One more beautiful pic to say the same. You can confirm this by doing activity at your home. Now, part 2 of our activity to identify the volume. Material required measuring jar, tumbler, water, milk, oil. Stepwise procedure. Step 1. Take 50 ml of water with the measuring jar and pour it in a tumbler. Mark the level of water on the tumbler. Step 2. Remove water from the tumbler and now measure 50 ml of milk with the measuring jar and pour it in the tumbler. Mark the level of milk on the tumbler. Step 3. Repeat the process with oil and even with other liquids. Mark the level of oil on the tumbler. Observations. You will come to know that each time the volume is same. Thus, we can say that the volume of the liquids is same or fixed. You can see in the picture, they have taken different liquids of same quantity and in same containers. All the liquids are occupying the same volume. This picture is also for you to say the volumes of liquids are fixed. This is another picture for you. Here one more picture. From these we can understand that the volumes of liquids are fixed. The overall observations from the part 1 and part 2 of activity 1 are here. Observations The shape of the liquid depends on the shape of the container. Though liquid takes different shapes depending on the shape of the container, its volume remains same. Liquids can flow easily. They are also called fluids. What is a fluid? A fluid is a substance that can flow or continually deforms under an applied shear stress. So far, we have discussed the properties of solids and liquids. Now we shall discuss the properties of matter, gases. Gases have neither definite shape nor fixed volume. Examples Hydrogen, Helium, Nitrogen, Oxygen, CNG, LPG and etc. Note, CNG stands for Compressed Natural Gas, LPG stands for Liquefied Petroleum Gas. Activity 2. Do gases have a definite shape and a fixed value? Verification. We know very well that gases can be stored in tanks or cylinders and can be pumped to different containers. Each time gases also change their shape just as liquids. On the other hand, we can either increase or decrease the volume of the gases at particular temperatures and pressures. Therefore, gases have neither definite shape nor fixed volume. Have you ever visited a CNG filling station? Here we have given a picture. This time when you go, just see how carefully they store the gas in the filling stations. This picture shows you how the CNG is transported from one place to another. This picture depicts us in general where the CNG cylinders are kept in the vehicles. You can see two cylinders are here. And you can see one cylinder in this car. Did you know interesting behavior of some solids? Though rubber band stretches on pulling and changes its shape, it is solid matter only. Because of its properties, the particles of rubber band are loosely bounded by force of attraction. On the other hand, sponge also changes its shape, yet it is also a solid matter only. In minute pores of sponge, air is trapped. Now we are moving to another concept, compressibility. Through an activity 3, we would come to know many things about compressibility. Activity 3. Observing the compressibility of materials, gases, liquids and solids. Material required 50 ml syringe, water, chalk powder or wood. 
Procedure Step 1 Take a 50 ml syringe and draw the piston to suck in air. Step 2 Place your finger on the nozzle and press. Observe the depth of the piston moved into syringe. Step 3 Repeat the process with water and chalk powder or wooden piece. Observe the depth of the piston moved into syringe. Observations From the above activity, you will find gases are highly compressible as compared to liquids and solids. Here in the picture, you can easily identify solids are not compressible, liquids are hardly compressible and gases are highly compressible. It's a clear picture of our activity. Key point In our houses, LPG is used for cooking. Nowadays, CNG is used in many automobiles. CO2 cylinders are also familiar to you. For all these purposes, large volume of gas is compressed into cylinders of small volume to make it portable. Can you guess what are the other benefits of the high compressible nature of gases? LPG cylinders No need to introduce these to you. You are very familiar. Huge amount of gas is compressed into these cylinders. Here you go with different types of CNG cylinders. And you might have already observed carbon dioxide cylinders here and there. Overview of properties of matter Solids have definite shape, fixed volume and very low compressible nature. Liquids have non-definite shape, fixed volume and low compressible nature. Gases have non-definite shape, non-fixed volume and very high compressible nature. It's time for review. So far we have discussed about what is matter, about the states of matter, about the properties of solids, liquids and gases through the activities and about the compressibility of solids, liquids and gases.
watching session 1 soon we would present session 2 thank you